The glitz and glamour of a casino, but in the comforting surroundings of everyday life. There's a growing online community of people chatting to one another and playing games online for money. New research shared exclusively with ITV News shows now more women than ever are seeking help for gambling addiction. Kelly is still paying off her gambling debts. She was addicted to online bingo and slot machines, but it took her a long time to realise. I'd maxed out all the credit cards I had and I'd gone to town one day and put a £1,600 overdraft on our joint account. Um, and I'd come back from town and within an hour I'd spent £1,600 on slots um, and lost it all and there was no way of getting it back. It's now four years since Kerry Nichols last placed a bet. She lost her house gambling on football games. She found it difficult to admit she had a problem. When I first went to a Gamblers Anonymous meeting, it was me and, and 20 other men and that for me felt very uncomfortable and, and felt almost alien that you know well that there must be something wrong with with me as a woman to have a gambling problem. The Gordon Moody Association is opening a treatment center just for women next year because of an increase in demand. The reasons why women gamble are completely different as to why men gamble. Really the key driver for them is to break out of some form of deprivation that they are in. Yes I think the, the adverts are targeting women Yes, I think it is attracting more women to gambling, but I don't think it's having as huge an effect as you would imagine. The industry body that represents the gambling firms says they are acting responsibly. Any increase is not a good increase, but all I can say is during lockdown, our members have intervened much more. In fact, interventions with safer gambling messages have gone up by 150%. They sell the dream, but often the adverts are not the reality of online gambling. Experts hope more women reporting their problems means those once more likely to hide their addiction are now calling it out. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Birmingham.